the domain of the function f of x is equal to root over 2 minus 2x minus x square. Since we know that to find the domain of the function of the form root over f of x, we need to consider the value of x, the value of x for which f of x is greater than or equals to 0, this is the domain. Okay. Now let's check out here, since under the root of 2 minus 2x minus x square, so to get the domain of the function, so which is defined, this function, which is defined for 2 minus 2x minus x square is greater than or equals to 0. That implies, we can also write x square plus 2x minus 2 is less than or equals to 0. x square plus 2x minus 2 we can we can write it as x square plus 2 into x plus 1 and minus 1 minus 2 is less than or equals to 0 just add it and subtract it 1 so that we can get here x plus 1 whole square so I can write x plus 1 whole square minus minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 so minus 3 I can add it as root 3 whole square so on factorizing we can write this as x plus 1 plus root 3 it's in the form of a square minus b square so a plus b into a minus b less than or equals to 0 so we can write it as since we know x minus a into x minus b is less than or equals to 0 then the solution can be taken if a is lesser than b if a is smaller than b then the solution will be taken between a and b that is x lies between a and b including a and b so here we can consider check the number line and you can mark the numbers as this is a minus 1 minus root 3 which will be smaller than minus 1 plus root 3. So minus 1 plus root 3 will be greater than minus 1 minus root 3. So the answer since it is less than or equals to 0 the solution can be taken between these two numbers. So we can write that. So which implies that x lies between minus 1 minus root 3 minus 1 plus root 3 or we can write x belongs to minus 1 minus root 3 comma minus 1 plus root 3 closed brackets so this is the domain of the function let us check the options minus 1 minus root 3 minus 1 plus root 3 so it is in the option b so you can go with an option B. Okay. Thank you.